how to send bulk emails with send in blue Revo. hello guys and welcome to today's video in today's video we will be teaching you how you could utilize the bulk email feature of brevo formerly known as send in blue so the first thing you're going to have to do is of course create your account create your account is pretty straightforward you will be able to easily create an account by simply entering your own name, email, address, contact number, your website, your company name, and all of those related information. And after confirming and authenticating your number, you will be able to access Brevo right now, also known as Send in Blue before. Now, this is their new name right now. Send in Blue is converted to Brevo. So, let's get started. To be able to use the email feature of Brevo, you're going to have to access it through the campaign section over here on the left side. Now, you have the campaigns over here, as you can see, email. And this is where you can start your campaign and create a bulk email. Now, you're going to have to add your contacts first before you could send a campaign. Because if you only have one contact, technically you won't be able to create a bulk email. So that's the first step that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to create multiple contacts on your contact section over here. Now when you click this and check out the list, you will be able to see that you're the only one on the contacts. Now this is for accounts that are completely new. You will, be only, you will only have your account available over here. Now, to be able to create contact, you're simply going to click on create a contact over here on the top right, which would allow you to enter an email, last name, first name, SMS, and list over here. You can simply type in whatever email that you want. Let's say testing at gmail.com. The last name is testing. First name is, let's say, John. And we can simply click on create. And let's see if we will be able to create a contact. There we go. We now have John as one of our contacts. So when you refresh your contact list over here, you will be able to have two contacts on your contact list over here. And if you have a lot of contacts and you don't really want to manually create the contact by clicking on the create over here and then manually typing in their email, name, and number, and all of those stuff, you can simply click on import contact over here beside the create contact and you can import a CSV, a XLSX or a text file from your computer and it will automatically convert that information into your contacts. You can also copy and paste it from your XLS file over here and by doing that you will be able to convert or add all the contacts that you already have into your contact list over here to whom you will be able to send your emails right away so after completing your contacts after filling it up with your different contacts you can now go over here back again at the campaigns and you have your email section over here go back to your email and now let's create an email campaign when you click on create an email campaign we're going to have to name it let's say testing for now testing campaign just like that and you could either have a regular or A-B test. A-B test means that it will send two different types of email and it's going to show you which type of email is more effective. But right now, it's, let's settle with the regular version. Click on create campaign and now over here, let's see, we will now be able to edit the information available in this section. The first thing you're going to do is you can edit who is it going to be sent from who you would like to send it to, like add recipients, and you could add all the contacts that you have. You could set it to like over here, your clients. You could set it up so that all your contacts will be receiving this email that you are creating right now. You could also create a subject line for this campaign, a design, we could click on start designing. And when you click on start designing, you will be able to see like different templates available for you to use. You have your layout, template gallery, as you can see here, you could use this, but there will be a lot of different options that you have here. And there's also your own templates over here, campaigns, or you could all code your own as well over here for using the rich text editor or the HTML editor over here. Now going back here, I think what we're going to use for today's video is one of the template gallery over here. 
so that we have a design. So for example, over here, I would like to use this order confirmation. If ever the email you're trying to create is related to this, although you could use this and simply edit it out, you don't need to use this directly for an order confirmation. But let's use this for now. We click on use template. And now we will be redirected to this page over here. And let's simply check this out. This is our editing page. This is where we can create our email and design it. And as you can see here, this is the logo. You have a background over here. You have your main box over here, your body, your different information and text over here. You could change the information over here. Right now it's currently John. You could change the name to whatever name that you would like to have depending on your contact. When you click on a specific text, you could edit the text settings, text alignment, line height. You could also add backgrounds to it. Like have an image as a background. You could edit the block settings like the width, block alignment, rounded corners, and spacing and borders over here. You could have this on the specific texts. Now, you could also do the same thing for the small text over here. You can edit the content, you can change the font size, the heading size, the font design, the default size, the font colors, and text formatting over here, and more options over here. And you could also rearrange them if you want. As you can see, this line or like cluster of dots over here, you could move it and you could rearrange the content just like this. Uh, let's say I would like to put it here. Not break it properly there we will we were able to rearrange it and you could change a photo over here this is like a logo you could set up a brand which would allow you to change the logo over here to whatever logo that you have you also have your buttons over here you could edit the link to where this button will lead you as you can see here add link or save or show and hide duplicate or delete as well there's also an image over here that you could change you could change it to whatever image that you would like by simply clicking on your place over here on the left side you can also add a url or insert image from a url over here which will take the image from a online source it's also an alternative text over here also block settings spacing and borders very similarly to the others and over here on the left side as you can see this is the content section this is specifically all the elements that you could add to your email over here like title text image buttons logo and socials and many more over here you can even add your own html and have a custom section on your email there's also payment links and a lot of areas or a lot of elements that you could add to customize your page now for example i would like to have social i can simply click this and drag it into our page over here and it will appear on our section over here there we go and you can simply move it around depending on where you would like it to appear and there we go and after editing this out you could also check out your save block over here like your favorite blocks and your designs over here where you can set up your brand like with the logo over here and after this you could also view it out on a mobile phone this is what it would look like on a mobile phone and a desktop phone over here and you could send a test email by clicking this option over here which will send it directly to yourself and you can edit every single part of this like this you could remove this you don't need to specifically maintain the payment email you could edit this out and convert it to whatever type of email that you want we're simply using this as a basis for a design that we can use and you can also check out your version history preview keyboard shortcut and save over here and for now let's save and quit and we will be able to save our email and there we go let's go back to our section over here now we're back here now you can simply fill out the other information like to and subject over here and after this you will see a uh, option to send the email after you complete this like over here you could schedule it and you will be able to send this bulk email to whoever you have selected in your contacts but as you can see we will require to be able to complete all the steps or complete all the information before we could schedule or send this email and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching